My top is all ready, and I've cut out a piece for the skirt. Now it's time for the sewing machine. I finished the top, I sewed it together, added a little rose for detail, and then I added to the back so that it'll attach to the doll later. This is the skirt part here, where I've hemmed up three of the sides and did a basting stitch across the top, in which I will cinch together to form the skirt. Then I sew it all together. I finished the dress, and I think it looks adorable. I made a few other outfits, and I'm ready to add the backing fabric to the storage pocket. This is the fabric I've chosen for the back. This is the back itself, and then this one will be the pocket. I have here a piece of bias binding for a nice finishing touch. I'm going to sew bias binding to the pocket, then I'll sew the pocket to the back, and then the back to the doll. So to put the two pieces together, I set the doll on top, right sides together, and sew around all four corners, leaving a little bit open at the bottom to turn it right side out. All four sides are sewn together, now it's time to flip. I've turned the piece right side out. Now I just have to top stitch, add a few details, and she'll be ready for playtime. I finished the backing fabric, added ribbon, and that ties it up. My fabric paper doll is complete. Coming up, we step into this crafter's Georgia kitchen. She combines organic vegetables with a mixture of oils to raise the bar on handmade soap. But first, this artist from California gets into the swing of things with a fused glass design that really makes a stand. Next on That's Clever.